That's a lot. Yeah, a little bit of everything almost every day this mm -hmm. week. What we don't have is any really sunny, warm mm -hmm. days to talk no. about, but it is December after all, and this is actually pretty seasonable, at least for now. Oh. But later this week, it's going to get a whole lot colder around here and feel more like mid-January into February, which is tra traditionally, historically, our coldest part of the year. Temperatures barely making it to 40 by the weekend, but let's start with what's coming first, and that is some rain tomorrow. We'll start off with a look outside. It's a dry night. This is Bethlehem looking live from the Hotel Bethlehem, and you can see that we looked at the flags on Friday. They were really whipping in the wind. Tonight, they're laying pretty still. It's not too bad out there as far as wind is concerned. Temperature-wise, a pretty seasonable day. We got to the low 50s, and it's pretty comfy out there tonight. But Storm Scan 3 shows everything is about to change. You can see just some clouds rolling in right now, but as we widen out, here comes our next storm. It's bringing very heavy rain just south of Atlanta right now. You can see the yellow and orange shading down there in Georgia. And as we widen out even more, you can really see where the storm is drawing moisture from directly from the Gulf of Mexico. So as we tap into that Gulf moisture, the system lifts up the coast and the rain that falls tomorrow will be sustained and will be heavy at times. This is not a quick hitting system. This is going to be 12 to 18 hours of moderate rain and then on and off heavy rain, especially through tomorrow evening. So notice by 4 a.m. we start to see the clouds roll back in. You'll likely wake up to a bit of a gloomy morning, but it's dry until about 1 or 2 o'clock. Now these storms do have history of coming in a little faster than the models indicate, so I would plan for it starting at around noon. If you're in South Delaware, Southern New Jersey, it'll be a little faster than that, but you can see the rain will be steady right through the midday hours and notice some snow is possible in the Poconos. It gets even heavier right through the evening and into the overnight. Here is 8 p.m. with very heavy rain in the northwest suburbs that passes through the city and then gradually winding down overnight tomorrow night. But even five o'clock Wednesday morning, we're still seeing scattered rain showers around before eventual clearing and maybe the return of some sun late Wednesday afternoon. So a mostly cloudy morning rain develops mid afternoon. It will be heaviest through the evening, looking at about a half inch to possibly three quarters of an inch of rain. And if you're in the Poconos, the possibility for an inch or two of snow could fall, especially in the highest elevations. We may see some flakes mixing in even in the Lehigh Valley. And then behind that, the temperature takes a big hit Friday into Saturday. The average high just 48 and will be almost 10 degrees colder than that average. Tonight, partly cloudy, 35 degrees. Tomorrow, we've got that rain arriving by midday. The high only 46. It's a cold rain. Wednesday, we'll try to clear it out a bit. Wednesday, the nicest day of the week. And another front Thursday brings a shower and the weekend is dry, but it's cold. Highs barely hitting 40. Mm. Many spots in the 30s all day. Get ready to bundle up. I see your shoulders moving. I'm like, really feeling cold. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Kate. All right, Don's back.